The Earth On our planet Earth, humans have worked hard to learn how to convert primary energy into usable energy. For example, to turn on an outboard motor, this man uses gasoline. He bought this gasoline at the gas station. And this gasoline comes from far, far away. A truck has come to deliver it from a storage and distribution center. This gasoline crosses the seas in huge tanks on a huge oil tanker. Because this ship comes from a country where other people build refineries to convert heavy crude oil into diesel, jet fuel and gasoline, yes, it takes a lot of energy to obtain gas. In faraway countries we extract gigantic slicks of crude oil that have been lying underground for millions of years. Once the oil has been pumped, we must again transport it to refineries in other countries where it will be processed into gasoline. But it takes a lot of heavy crude oil to make only a little, little gasoline. So we pump, and we pump again, and the more we pump, the more gasoline we use. Thus, to convert primary energy into usable energy, people are always doomed to lose a part of it. But we go on pumping over and over again our crude oil slicks that are decreasing dangerously. But before you know it, we're back home. And our little man is on his beautiful motorboat. What a strong motor! But the more the engine is running, the more it uses up all the energy of the gasoline. From this gas, extracted from oil slicks, a small amount of smoke is released into the air, as we know, polluting our atmosphere. Our beautiful planet Earth has lots of sources of energy, but these are being slowly depleted. That is why we should always think carefully before using them.